And then we've got the financing activities, which once again, you would kind of think the loan payable would possibly be in. This is the, the, the activities that also don't typically have the other side as an impact on the income statement, therefore not in the operating activities. So you put them down here uh, in the financing activities, which would typically be things like taking out loans. You take out a loan to finance the purchase of the assets. The, that's, and then you also could have financing activities for paying off the loans. And then you could have financing activities for the owner putting money in if it was a sole proprietorship, an owner investment. Uh, and from the owner taking the money out, if it was a sole proprietorship, a draw, if it was a corporation, when the when the, they put money in, that would be the issuance of capital co uh, stock. And when they take the money out, it would be a, a dividend. So that would be the financing activities. And then if we take those three changes, we've got the 1896.02 minus the 13495 plus the 15662.5 that gives us our change here of 4063 our change in cash and if i go back to the balance sheet there's there's nothing in the prior period so the change in cash is just the the whatever the change right here which would be the two two oh oh one plus and then we go undeposited funds plus the uh two six five eight points no that's not the undeposited funds hold on a sec back 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 2062.52 that's the 4063 so there's you know the change and obviously the there's the ending balance because there wasn't anything in uh, the prior period so, and that should tie out of course to the ending balance and that's how it kind of neatly fits in to, to uh, tying into the balance sheet so that's the general idea also just note from a technical standpoint here Oftentimes there's kind of an issue with these with these names like so it says total adjustments or right here it says net cash provided by and you could say well what if this was a, a negative number notice down here it says net cash provided by that's a little bit wrong because notice it wasn't provided by it went down so it would have to be used in that's one of the issues with a statement of cash flow you can use a generic term here like net cash change you know by in, in investing activities but usually they let they like to use the term provided by or used in or something like that which means you got to actually change the words and that's something that quickbooks doesn't always do here if you want to get you know picky on it and it's net cash so you got a provided by kind of terminology here and then you got the net cash increase for the period again what if it went down will quickbooks change this to a decrease I don't think so, right? I think it's going to always be like that way. So you got to kind of be a little careful about the terminology. Might not be a big deal to you, but just to just to point out, if you were to get a review by someone in, a, in an accounting office, they they like to, you know, that would be something they would they should point it out. They like to point it out, but they should point it out because it's it's a little bit uh, wonky there.